Elena Danan is an archaeology graduate working in the field for more than 20 years, eight of which she spent working in Egypt. She's also an alien contactee, and that's been since childhood. She was rescued from the Zeta Greys by Nordic aliens while in the process of being abducted and has kept contact with her protectors all her life, and she joins us now. Hi, Elena, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? <laughs> well, I, I, thought, I thought we would start, I mean, that's fascinating to think that you were rescued from one particular race of aliens by another race of aliens, the Zeta Greys. Can you explain what led to it and, and how it came about? Well, I think they pretty much hate each other. Um, the Zeta Greys are involved in uh, programs of abductions with other races. And um, this, this was the ones, the Zeta Grey, they are small grey aliens. Um, and uh, they, they abduct people for mainly a genetic um, agenda, uh, hybridization agenda. Um, and uh, the Nordics, there are different races of Nordics, and these ones were a crew of different humanoid uh, from different places. They were a group, a crew in a ship, mm -hmm. and they, they boarded the Zeta Grey ship and they, they rescued me, and, but they rescue a lot of people. They do that a lot. Uh, they are totally against the practices of this, uh, these uh, Zeta Greys. So, uh, in fact, they have a name because Z Zeta Reticuli is uh, the name we gave to the constellation where their world is. Their true name is Solipsi Rai. Um, so, but we, we call them the Zeta, Zeta Great because everybody right. knows about them. Yeah. Yeah. So, you were abducted. So, you were on the, sh on the Zeta Grey ship and um, they were about to conduct experiments and then the Nordic aliens rode into the rescue. Yeah, well, they actually started their experiments on me. Um, I was nine years old. I was a little girl. Um, and uh, I, they, they put an implant in my head and they, they put something in my, my belly as well. And at the moment, just when they had finished putting this stuff, um, they were going to do other stuff. I don't know. They were touching other instruments. Uh, there was a big... Um, big noise and all the structure was trembling and vibrating and there was uh, like sounds of explosions or something like that um, and um, the voices of men uh, there was a door and voices of men shouting behind this door and in fact I was in a room it was very cold um, and uh, I was paralyzed in on in on this uh, narrow metallic table and they were all around me so there was one who was uh what i can get he was one one zeta gray he was like a, a real zeta gray a real person and the other ones there were i think four there were like clones or synthetic lights but they were looking like zeta grays but they were like i, I suppose helpers or um like that so um yeah, and uh, the door exploded and uh, the two men in space suit came in. I couldn't see their faces first because they had um, helmets. Um, and it was, you know, I was terrified. I was not only terrified and traumatized by what I was going through, but then this happened. So um, it was even more terrifying because I was paralyzed. I couldn't move. Um, um, so the... Um, the the gray which was the leader i suppose um was start to 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 sh not to shout to to communicate with the other ones because they seemed to communicate by telepathy but he then made sounds like um he was panicked uh like um you know the insects if if you put a microphone to insects and you turn up the volume yeah. kind of sound cracking a bit like, like, like a vibration no um it's difficult to 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 say you know um like insects yeah I, I wouldn't know how to say that um and uh so um 
if, if I can speak easily about it, because I've, I've done a hypnosis to complete my memory and hypnosis, uh, quantum hypnosis actually has yep. helped me really to be able to talk about it. Otherwise, I, I would break in tears. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, these two men came in and one of them, they, they shoot at them. They had oblong, oblong um, tools like, it was like laser gun. Mm -hmm. It was oblong tools and it was shooting at uh, laser rays and they totally obliterated the, the the workers once, I suppose. And the one who was real um, individual, they one of the men, he caught him by the neck and he strangled him. Wow. So, yeah. So, and that shocked me because that's a horrible thing to see. They, they, these data grades, they are very frightening looking. Someone strangling one of them and you see it under your eyes, it's even uglier and um, more scary because it's violent, it's terrifying. And the violence, incre violence increases and it's really terrifying. Anyway, so um, they, they untied me. I had my wrist and my ankles tied up with straps. So they removed it and uh, they took, one of them took me in his arms and I was, I couldn't move, I could see. Uh, but I couldn't move. My nervous system was totally neutralized. And uh, um, they took me quickly out of this room. And then I felt like dizzy because there was a big light, like if we were teleported on another ship. Right. And suddenly um, the atmosphere was totally different. It was very warm, well, way warmer that's the first thing that came into my, my, my mind when, and this I did by the, did remember this by the, the hypnosis sessions. Um, when they, they took me in this other ship, um, it was the first impression was, oh my God, it's warm. And suddenly I relaxed and uh, I was still very fright, frightened because I, I, I could understand they were, good because they had rescued me but you know it was so much panic and adrenaline and uh, yeah. they they laid me down on um, another table that seemed to lift from the from the floor and the ship was very light the light um, bright and there were two other men blonde men there were in fact three blonde men and a blonde woman and uh, the woman uh, I remember she 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 had a cloth and she cleansed me because there was blood uh, running out of my 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 legs my mm -hmm. you know um, and uh, she, I saw from the corner of my my vision that she was cleaning me and then the guy who had rescued me who had taken me brought me in his arms he removed his uh, the jacket of his spacesuit and he put it on me once I was clean. Um, and our, it was so warm that I suddenly relaxed and fell asleep. And the woman as well, she, at the same time, she put her, I remember her hands on my, my shoulders. She, she was very, very kind, very, very nice with me. And I looked into her eyes. She has had, she was a little bit different from them. Um, she had a triangular face, mm -hmm. with very wide green eyes and straight blonde hair. It was a little bit smaller than them. You could see it was a different race. And she, I saw her face and she was all calming down and I fall, fell asleep. And I, 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 I woke up again. Um, she was doing something in my head and um, I couldn't see. I knew she was behind me. She was doing something in my head. So, um, under hypnosis, I, quantum hypnosis is a fantastic method that you can uh, see your memories like above your body mm -hmm. and see around what's, what's going on. Uh, so I saw her trafficking into my head and she was trying to remove the implant. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. And uh, she seemed to struggle. And the guy who had rescued me, uh, which seemed to be the 
chief or captain of them, I don't know. Um, he was um, speaking telepathically with her. Like I, I could see he was. They were communicating, changing expressions on their faces because there was something going on between them. Uh, and he was like um, pressing them, pressing her to do something, and she became very nervous. And then he started to speak to her in a language that I couldn't understand. And that was very, very interesting because I couldn't understand their language um, at first. And uh, so he was asking her to do something she didn't want to, but then he was, is in, they, they were starting to argue and she um, obeyed to him. And she took different instruments and she did something different in, on the top of my head. Uh, I could go in more details, but that's a long story. Um, yeah. And in fact, she retuned the implant because she, in fact, she couldn't remove it um, because it was put in a way in my brain that um, I, it would have been very tricky to remove it. So she retuned it to, um, their frequency. She jammed it and she retuned it to their frequencies. And then I start to understand them talking. Wow. Okay. At that moment. Yeah. The, uh, I just wanted to ask the, the Nordics, uh, are the Nordics, um, do they look like us or they have different features? They have slightly different features. Um, I know the ones who were in this ship, the, the, um, the women, she was from the Sirius B system. Two guys from, were from the Pleiades and one guy was from Epsilon Eridani. So they were all blonde, mm -hmm. uh, all humanoids, but different feature, features. The woman, she had this triangular face and she was smaller, tinier. Uh, the two guys from the Pleiades, they were very, very like us, but uh, a little bit tougher and bigger. And they had, their eyes were different. Their eyes were bigger, uh, wider, uh, with bigger pu 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 pupils. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and the other one from Epsilon Eridani was like us, but his eyes were like a bit bigger as well, but the, 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 it was a bit red in it. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the Zeta Greys, um, do you know whether they abduct people on behalf of an, another race or other races? Are they actually working for themselves or working for others? Uh, I think they're working for others. Uh, they are, it's the whole community. They seem to have a hierarchy. You have tall greys above them, um, which are really, really nasty. Mm -hmm. nasty, nasty race um, and um, there are different purposes there are different groups I know the small there, are, there, are, there is a part of small greys and I think that's the ones who abducted me um, they are working for or slash with this tall greys uh, which have a hybridization agenda um, and um, I know there are um, insectoids as well but i never went in contact got to be in contact with insectoids yeah mantis yeah. you know i i know there they exist and they work as well with them they yeah. kind of the scientist um but i never get to meet them i'm happy with that because they look frightening okay